New tonight, the story behind a first pitch that ended with a standing ovation at Great American Ballpark. Here's Joe D with the story you will only see right here on Fox 19 now. Cool pick here, guys. That is John Driscoll Hopkins of the Zach Brown Band. We brought you his ALS story before his performance at Great American Ballpark. This is from that day. So that's John and that's Jim. Jim lives with Lou Gehrig's disease, too. Jim told me his favorite song by John's band is Toes because they repeat a lot of that song he lives by. Life is good today. Life on this day is a good story. Everyone in this picture is smiling. His wife, his daughter, and two sons. The crown, the trophy. But it's more than just a candid picture. This is a snapshot of Jim Bowman's life. A man balanced by the braces near his right arm balances the challenge of his life with the positivity of a smile. I have a saying in my wallet that says, just because life isn't fair, doesn't mean it can't be good. Jim and his family did good. Living with ALS, this is team Jimmy B at the most recent walk to defeat ALS. A team of more than 50 people who raised more than $50,000. There is no finish line to Jim Bowman's fight. My son and his, his wife ran the pig, flying pig. And I said, I wish it was me that could go do those things. And she said, you fight the fight, we'll, we'll do this. So you fight the fight. Invited with his family on the field for Lou Gehrig Day at Great American Ballpark, Jim Bowman stepped out of his chair to fight the fight, step by step. As we got out to the mound, like just, I think it all kind of hit him all at once. And so we just, we held him up and just said, you got this. Steady by his sons and wearing Lou Gehrig's number on his hat, a man living with ALS lived out baseball fans dream. Walking up on the mound with, with my two boys. That was cool. Life felt good this day. He met a baseball star shook the hand of a music star with ALS and left with the signature keepsakes of a Tyler Stevenson bat and the autographs of every Reds player. But it's what he left that matters. A smile on the field, a moment of joy in the stands because Jim Bowman stands for everyone like him who can't. This is the note he carries in his wallet. A reminder that just because life isn't fair doesn't mean it can't be good. Jim Bowman lives with ALS and he smiles. I feel like the luckiest man alive. I get to see so much good in this world. I get to see 75 to 100 people come here for me. Can't, you know, I say most people don't get to see that love and support until it's their funeral. And it, I tell you, that nothing helps more than that family, friends, kindness from people that I don't even know. That last picture is Jim and his family watching the Zach Brown band at the concert on Friday night. Jim can't run anymore, can't play tennis like he loves, but he told me he's still able to exercise three times a week and he still can, with the braces, walk. He'll walk this September in the walk to defeat ALS in Witten Woods. He says, and I hear this all the time from people who are around it, that ALS needs more awareness, needs more funding. The people that are in this fight always say that cancer gets so much attention. Yeah. So many other diseases get so much attention. I think it's important for what Major League Baseball is doing here with Lou Gehrig Day to bring this attention to ALS. We saw it with Jeremy's story sure. mm -hmm. with a member of Zach Brown Band, mm -hmm. and now you're seeing it with Jim. And he has been such a focal point here locally. His family raised more than $50,000 wow. in last year's walk. So he said so you can many see the difference he's made. Poignant things. And even though where he, where he mentioned about, you know, a lot of people never hear this because they only say or do these kind of things at their funeral. Mm -hmm. Right. And the fact that people are showing the love right now. It's so touching. It is. And I think for a guy like him, 
who can embrace what he's doing. Yeah. Because there are so many people, and he talked about this with me, that there are so many people with ALS who are so much worse off than he is right now. Because ALS, there's no real game plan to it. This thing affects people different in ways. different ways, at different speeds. He's doing well for someone with ALS right now, but he understands there are people who aren't doing as well as he is. And he wants to be that example to them to walk around with that note in his wallet about living life to the fullest. Yeah. And he told me, don't dwell on what you can't do. Enjoy what you can't do. Yeah. And you see a guy right now doing I love it. all those photos. I love what's in his wallet. Yeah. I love that. I have something similar in my wallet. It's not as poignant and deep, but I, I do think it's important for people to kind of carry that with them. They're having a bad day to look at it and see it. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I think perspective is a beautiful thing. Boy, it's unfortunate sometimes it takes something like ALS, cancer, whatever disease it is, to have that perspective, but he's got it. Well, I'm yeah. glad he shared the story. Mm -hmm. yeah. Me too. Yeah. Nice, nice job, Joe.